Everybody know the Detroit Pistons on a crazy losing streak. When a couple minutes, they go against the Utah Jazz. And the Jazz don't have a bunch of players. I mean, and the most of which is Larry Marketing, Jordan Clarkson, Keontae George, THT. So if there's any moment for the, for the Pistons to end this losing streak, it's tonight and we gonna watch it live. If you like these watch-alongs, I'll leave a like, subscribe. Uh, I promise we will get to watching some, some good teams go against each other. But like this could potentially be history, so I need to be here for it. Also, I am here as a Pistons fan tonight. I want to see the losing streak end. First possession, J.I. Uh-oh, it's the game. It's the game. It's happening tonight, ladies and gentlemen. The streak ends tonight. Unless, well, Kyle Sexton has been on an absolute burner since he became a starter. He's averaging like 25 points per game or something like that. So he might ruin the things. fontecchio has been having a good season. Lil Scott Hook, uh-uh-uh, says Isaiah Stewart. This is interesting. When you lose 24 straight games, you're not in a position to, like, taunt at all. He just got really high on that block, though. Shout out to Stu. But, like, normally he might want to pump his chest. No, we lost 24 in a row. Get back on defense, and they almost gave up a three thing. What the heck? What a pass from Bojan Bogdanovic. This, this looks like two teams that aren't very good. <laughs> I'm just saying. It already it looks like that. A minute and a half into the game. Let's see some 11. Let's see some 11. Ooh! No! I'm a Pistons fan. I'm a Pistons fan. I can't. Chris Dunn is one of the guys, man. I watched this man in Chicago for a few seasons, so I'm rooting for him. Happy he's back in the league. So, I, I don't know. Being a biased fan is hard when I'm not genuinely a fan of that team. I can't lie. Bag! Oh, bag! Open up the, the bag of tricks! If I was in Detroit, I would have bought tickets to this game. I would have bought tickets to this game. Because it's either we win tonight or we, we finish the season 2 and 80. Like, that's those are the only two options. Fontecchio. Oh, my God. I got to rewind it. I, did, I knew Fontecchio. Like, just... I haven't watched many Utah Jazz games, right? I'm, I'm a stats watcher with the Utah Jazz. I know Fontecchio's having a good year. Just didn't expect that. I know he's 6'8", but I didn't expect that. That's all. See, this is the thing I don't like. He traveled, first of all. And he, he traveled twice. He traveled twice on the same possession. Him and Bagley are both players that's going to ask for the ball in the post. And it's 2024. And if you're not... I just realized I've been covering up the score this whole time. My fault. If you're not one of the best back-to-the-basket players, why should I give you post touches? And they're not that. Like, I, I need to see James Wiseman be effective without, like, hey, here's, here, here's a duck in. Like, yeah, get some rolling. There's K for three. Shoot him out the zone then. Shoot, have the best shooting night of the season. Wow. Is nobody's back? It's Asar. Oh, I thought he was going to make a play. Yeah, that, you, you're not blocking that. So you should never have a shot go up and nobody sprint back defensively. I know that's basketball one on one, but like, <laughs> what's up, baby? Uh, yeah, I don't know. When you, when you throw a zone at the back of unit, it might be a struggle. We'll see. I just went from very optimistic to not so very optimistic, man. The Pistons don't have enough talent to run a four or five man bench unit. And that's exactly what they're doing. You watch all of the teams in basketball, you're very rarely going to see a four or five man bench unit, especially early in the first quarter. There's going to be some substitutions where one star is playing all 12, but then the second guy comes off when that guy comes up. Like, there's no world where you should run a five man bench unit, bro. They're just, and, and this bench unit has blown the lead. I mean, at one point they were up by eight, and now they're tied up right now. It's just not good. It's not good. Man. Like, with, with the way things work, and I like Marcus Sasser a lot, so I'm not trying to say nothing about bad about Marcus Sasser, but I feel like there should always be either Cade or J.I. on the court at all times. Okay, so they only play two and a half minutes with it. Bojan Bogdanovic is on the court now, so you have a starter, a score for on the team. But those two and a half minutes just blew your eight-point lead. You know what I'm saying? It's it's unfortunate because they were looking good, and now it's a tie game, and they might give up the lead right here. No good, but there's Walk, and Walk is going to dunk if he got the ball that close. So, yep, you might be going into the second quarter down when you had a, like, a decent – it's first quarter. I've seen teams blow 20-point first quarter leads. Like, it's not new. But, damn, all of the momentum got sucked out of the gym because of that. Sasser, big shot. He missed it. Dude, this is bad. This is bad. What a dunk, old chain. But please, please, please look what I. Oh man, it's bad, man. Oh, my guy, my guy Taylor Hendricks is in the game. That's my boy. That's my boy. All right, let's see what he got. 
<laughs> Let you know how much jazz I've watched this season. I'm, this is my first time actually Marvin watching Bagley him hoop in his NBA career. I know he went to some G League a little bit James here there. Uh, but I'm, I'm finally watching, Tay. How does Joe Harris feel not getting minutes on a team that is on a 24-game losing streak? Like how, how, like he's standing up and clapping, like he's engaged as a teammate, which is dope to see. But dang, what is what is the mental fights that you go to to yourself where this team is on a 24 game win streak and coach won't let you get any run, not a minute, not not nothing. It's a 10 point game, by the way. And, and that, this is why, this is why, what is happening? What is happening? Like, bro, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to survive this whole game. I can't lie to you. I don't know if I'm gonna survive this whole game. All right, capitalize. Numbers, numbers, numbers. You got numbers, Kate. The lob. Two turnovers to nine. That's another story of the game. You just, you just can't turn the ball over that many times. OT is hooping. Okay, I miss up, Bozzy. He said no, no streak ended tonight. I may have to switch shirts. I may, I may have to switch shirts just, just real quick. Cause I got this on hand. I'm ready to switch it to it if, if, if the time fits. I'm interested to see if the Jazz go back to that zone. Um, Cause I feel like it was doing decent things. The Pistons have scored a few buckets in a row. Trying, trying to cut down his lead. Cade, got to take a shot. There he is. I see you, Cade. That's a. A broken possession that ended in the three. You need those sometimes. It's down to six again, y'all. We back. I might not have to change shirts. Cade is, I think, scoring like, what, eight points this quarter alone? So, you know, put him back in the game. He started off as a playmaker, and now he's, he's taking shots and stuff. Oteb Baji has been on the heater, but he missed that. Uh-oh, Cade. See, get in there. Get in there, ball. Get. That's what I'm talking. That's the first overall pick from a few years ago. That's the guy they need on a very regular basis. I mean, he had 43 last game, so... <laughs> it ain't like this is new, but he looking good. Last four minutes, an 18 to nine run. Chris Dunn missing shots. Come on, Detroit. No, you didn't. Livers. Actually, I'm bite my tongue. I ain't gonna talk about what I'm what I'm thinking. Young bull, don't let that man get downhill. Oh, he missed it. He smoked the lay. He asking for a foul. You ain't got numbers, but you can still score. Ji with it, just some jelly. Not there. And because he was complaining about the foul or no foul. And it's off his back. It's off his back. Pissed his ball. Okay. That's him. Okay. All right. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good again, y'all. The Jazz have gone ice cold, y'all. Tie the game. Take the lead right here, okay? He can't guard you. Fontecchio. Okay. okay, he can. He can't give it back to him. He asking for it. Look at the spacing. Look at the spacing. Look at the spacing. It's awful. Three. Oh, okay. Sarge there. Sarge there. Give it to him. That's the that's the just the rookie trying to make a play, but K was right on the wing, wide open, asking for it. Look at right here. Fontecchio's recovering, but I'm putting the ball in K's hands right there. It's just the spacing, bro. Just the spacing. Oh, I don't care how this possession ends. I, I gotta I gotta show you how bad it looks. I, I know you saw it too, but look at this. Like, I, ah, this hurts my eyes, bro. It hurts my eyes. Six-point deficit going into halftime. Definitely, definitely a winnable game. Two and one. Capitalize, capitalize, capitalize. There you go, Cade. What a finish. Cade is looking nice, man. I've been impressed. I've been impressed. There you go, Jay. I take this lead. You ain't really got numbers. You don't have no Good decision, Cade. Good decision, Cade. That's a point guard right there. They're back in that zone, too, and good defense. Chris Dunn got some of the, the quickest hands in the NBA, that's for sure, especially for a guard. Uh, there is a tough finish from the young bull. Fontecchio, catch a shoot. Six points just like that, man. These Utah Jazz, they scoring out here, man. I'm, in, I'm enjoying their game. I'm enjoying their game. I won't lie to you. Come on, opportunity to tie, take the lead again. Good back and forth, back and forth. Okay, break him down. Not a lot of space for you to break somebody down. <laughs> oh, there's a Bagley post touch. What's going to happen, Bag? What's going to happen? A uh, missed shot. Uh, that's what's going to happen. Just a, a missed shot. Miss shot. He's having a good game, though. Uh-oh. Kelly Olynyk is just a hooper, bro. I can't say nothing more than that. <laughs> I thought there's a possibility of a chase down or this or that. Nope. Kelly Olynyk is just a hooper. He's going to get the steal and go coast to coast as like a 4-5 hybrid. 
Good pass. Don't say it, Wiseman. Good pass. K with the, the, the throw off and the. Kate is impressing me, man. Kate is really impressing me. It's not like I mean, and that make it sound like this is my first time watching him play, but just in general. Good pass, Wiseman. Good defense, Cass. Hustle. Um, oh, oh, oh no, oh no, not the ref. Okay, everything's good. Everything's good. I, I thought he was about to get kicked out the game. You know, you can't come in contact with the referee. Like this, they're always one shot away. They're always one shot away. And this, this can happen. This possession, man. Screen comes to Weissman. Downhill. Good contest, but Alec Burks is Alec Burks. If you know, you know. Tie game. Tie game. Superstar matchup right there. Superstar matchup right there. Kelly Olynyk, Marvin Bagley. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought that that would be our side by side star comparison of the day? Marvin Kelly Olynyk, Marvin Bagley. Wow. Here we go again, by the way, with an all five man bench unit. Um, just FYI, just keep keeping that in the back of your mind so you can kind of see when it happens. So we can see that they're down, they're down by two when that unit got into the game. I think, I, unless it's been going for the last couple minutes and I haven't even thought about it. Big block from Weissman. Numbers. A sorry in the fast break. You know what's happening. A foul. You take that. Oh my God, Lucas Shamanich is getting minutes. By the way, I mentioned him earlier. Is he gonna play? And the answer was yes. Wiseman, that's going. Back. Yeah. Lucas Shamanich is getting minutes, y'all. He didn't. He didn't play the entire first half, and he got in with a minute thirty left. <laughs> a minute thirty left in the uh, third quarter. He's like, hey, your legs warm? I bet. Come who? Come who? Kate has been so silent this half, man. He had the one, I think he had one bucket early in the third quarter with six then. He's open right there, though. Oh, my God. I saw it with a tough bucket. He's over right there in the corner, but you got a bucket nonetheless. I, I need K to be the K that he was in that second quarter. In the second quarter, he was undoubtedly the best player on the court. The second half, it hasn't been him. And when you look at who's on the court right now, <laughs> it should be him. Get some 11. Chris Dunn with the flow gang. I think that's six points off that exact move this quarter. One on three. You better knock it down, J.I. Ah, that's such a big shot. That's such a big shot. And they got to stop the ball. What the heck, Chris Dunn? That's a charge. Yeah, that's a charge. Nice way to get in there, Kate. John Collins has been so disappointed in this game, man. Oh, my God. He just hasn't had a positive impact at all. Like, it's been mostly negative. And I guess I didn't realize that I got this bad for John Collins because I haven't been tuned into many Utah Jazz games. And counter stats wise, he's been looking all right. Like 14 points per game, some rebounds, some assists, shooting well from three, like the best he shot in a few years. But this game, at least, the impact has not been that at all. Oh, that's a good block from Chris Dunn. Young bull for three. Miss. John Collins. Was that John Collins or was that Chris Dunn? I don't know. But that was Kelly Olinick. Killer Kelly. Wow, that is a huge shot. Y'all, I don't know if the streak is ending tonight. I don't think the streak is ending tonight. Bojan. Cade. Huge shot, Cade. Huge shot. He airballed almost. Good rebound, J.I. You. Huge shot, too. Missed it, too, y'all. The streak might not end. Not might not. It's looking less and less likely. I, I just cannot believe it. No way you lose to the bench of the Utah Jazz, man. I was going to say, if John Collins games you, I don't know what to tell you. And there's the young bull. And it is a nine-point game with a minute and a half to go, y'all. The bulls are coming out. Crowd upset at the officials for what happened. A moment ago. At the officials? I don't think they mad at the officials. I, th I think they're mad at the team. Because they just... I think it's over. It's not completely over, y'all. It's not completely over. You need a bucket right... You need a bucket right here. Bojan. Y'all. It's over. It's over. I mean, the streak is still alive. The game is over. I cannot believe it, bro. I cannot believe it. Utah will win it. And the Pistons' losing streak has reached 25. Well, uh, my Jazz did they part. <laughs> my Jazz did they part, making sure that the streak does continue. Um, no, in all honesty, I cannot believe that this team is now in a 25-game losing streak. They got Brooklyn back-to-back. -back. Brooklyn hasn't looked amazing over the last week or so, so maybe it happens then. But this was so disappointing. A shout-out to Kelly Olenek. 
um, Ote Abaji, you feel me? Chris Dunn and, and Young Bull Collar Sexton for stepping up. 25-game win streak. Oh, I'm sorry, loser streak.